from TLA Student News Network. My name is Max Miller, and today is Monday, September the 26th, 2022. Now let's take a look at our three-day weather forecast with Kayla. Thanks, Max. You guys may have noticed fall temps this morning. We had a cool front come through. Today, the high is 90 and the low is 67. The chance of rain is only 10%. Tomorrow, it's all sunny skies. The high is 86 degrees and the low is 64. Wednesday, it's also going to be beautiful with a high of just 84 degrees and a low of 61. Now back to Max with our lunch choices. Thank you, Kayla. Nothing goes with cooler weather like today's hot lunch choices. They are cheesy chicken over rice, yogurt plate, and cheeseburger. And the sides are potato salad, southern greens, fruit cups, fruit cup pudding, and and pudding. Antonio is standing by with our joke of the day. Hi guys, what happens when you get a cro- when you cross a snowman and a vampire? You get frostbite. Back to you, Max and Kayla. Oh gosh, Antonio, that was painful. There are no birthdays for today. For our feature story, today we are continuing our celebration of Hispanic heritage by take by talking about the first Hispanic woman to go to fa- space, Ellen Ochoa. Ellen is an engineer who used her physics and engineering knowledge to study different things ranging from atmosphere changes to space station design. She was born in 1958 and raised in La Mesa, California. Neither of her parents had college degrees that did her for the stars. Her mother valued family and education. She had no college degree, <laughs> it was Ellen, but when Ellen was a baby, her mother began taking college courses one class at a time. Though it took her 22 years, her mother achieved the goal of earning a college degree. Do you think that might have inspired Ellen Ochoa to strive for success? Well, she for sure had grit. The NASA training program has always been highly competitive. Did you know she got rejected by NASA two times before finally being chosen? And In 1993, she became director of NASA Johnson Space Center, the second woman to hold the title and the first Latina. She also invented some really extraordinary things that helped scientists capture clear images of objects in space and on Earth. Ellen is beyond a doubt an incredible human being. Be like her and don't let anything hold you back from achieving your goals. Well, TLA, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us for student equity have a great week bye Bye.